Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to use a scatter plot tool in Alteryx. So here inside to data investigation, here you can see a scatter plot. So if you click on this, here you can get the definition. So produce enhance a scatter plot with the option to include box plot in the margin or linear regression line a smooth curve via non para metric regression or a smooth conditional spread or layer identification and regression line so this is the things so let's uh, understand by example so here let's uh, go inside in and out drag this input data now you can connect with file or database so click on this drop down and uh, here after if you want to click use the uh, database so click on data source you can use any database for file you can select the file so i already have the file the name called uh, d and here inside to uh, or d this is the records demand id and demand so i'm going to use the escalator on demand id and the demand now here data investigation drag this at scatter and automatically it's taken x horizontal y vertical so here it should be unique so here i'm giving go demand and this is demand id now i want to display whatever the records inside the blocks now click and uh, establish the ring here workflow is the ready now you need to run this workflow after that you can see here the graphical representation of the scatter so incoming rows 2 3 2 9 4 121 kb is the size it has taken 40 seconds to complete now here if i click on a scatter this is the incoming data and here output this is graph v w string size and uh, if i click on this so here you can see a scatter of demand versus demand id now here you can see this is the demand and this is the demand id and uh, here you can see uh, this is here or demand id demand id on or uh, 500 it's a higher and next is 1600 and here 2500 now you if i click on this so here you can see there are demand id and demand so it has various values 248 this all so it has taken on the graph so here it's taken 0 to 100, 100 to 200 on the demand and 0 500, 500 to 1000 and 1000 to 500. So it goes till 3 to because here uh, 3 to uh, 4 0 because the uh, number of incoming records. So if I run here you can see the number of incoming records 3 to 9 4. Now let's click on a stop and uh, here after the next is so here you can get the various options so here it's only taken the numeric fill it has uh, also a string fill but to uh, scatter here is string fill a special object but it's only taken the automatically numeric fill and uh, here after you can use plot animals margin so by default it's selected a smooth line and here so a spread so if you don't want then you can uncheck and here log jitter why you can use this all and plot by group you can make and here give uh, default if you want then you can give the field but it's not coming there so it has various options on the plot so I'm not going to make that group and here jitter x jitter y log x log y you can make that check all or you can check one to whatever you like as tall option you can increase the this all or optional you can increase the size decrease the size whatever you like 
now let's uh, rerun the workflow and here 62 percent it's completed this is the incoming this record processing on the scatter plot after processing that will go on the browse so here i'm getting uh, some kind of masses error max x mass so here execution halted so it's uh, related with max x and max y length error so here you need to uh, specify the correct uh, length now here i'm unchecking this tools and thereafter let's uh, rerun the workflow and uh, about the uh, other uh, tool that i already discussed this nine you can check the previous videos there you can see the other tools and uh, now there is no any problem this time and here you can see the graphical format so this is the graphical format now here after you can reverse this demand id so if i give demand did demand id definitely it's a uh, come the error so here it should be let's uh, uh, stop x and y must be different so here demand id i have given demand so there is no any problem so we can change the x and y axis horizontal and y vertical and uh, there should be no any problem with this but it should be different so here you can see this uh, uh, scatter plot so this time a uh, scatter plot demand id versus demand now here this is the demand id and this the demand so this the way we can use a scatter plot and this the definition so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you